Hello and welcome to UMA 201. And this series is all about creating content for your UMAs. So we're going to be going through creating overlays, slots, wardrobes, uh, all sorts of different things from scratch to give our UMA a unique look. Um, I'm mostly going to be using Blender for this, um, although I will maybe show you some of the pieces of software as we go. Um, but what I have done uh, is create some Blender files or modify the Blender files that used to be there. So we've all got a really good start to get us going. So first thing, we need to know where to get hold of these. So the first thing we need to do is head over to the UMA GitHub repository. This is where all the UMA development goes on. Um, and what we're after is this content pack repo here. So if we click and head into here, this is the full content pack that we're going to download and it's going to help us create content for our UMA. Um, so go ahead and either clone it if you're using GitHub or just download this as a zip file and unzip that somewhere on your machine. Just briefly to have a look at it, um, this content pack here, if we have a look in, it's got Blender files, FBXs, uh, base textures, things like that. This is the original content pack that came from UMA version one. Uh, it's still relevant, there's still some good stuff in there. Um, I'm not gonna be using that. I've actually created this second content pack here, which at the moment only contains uh, blender files and the new textures for our UMA but uh, this is what we're going to be using to start with I'll add to this gradually as the course goes on okay so once you've downloaded that you will find in the blender folder there are two uh, blender files which we're gonna have a look at in this episode just to sort of familiarize ourselves with what we've actually got in there so let's start out by having a look at the mail file so if you're used to Blender, this should all be fairly familiar. Um, if you're not used to Blender, then stop now, uh, go away and do some tutorials. I will explain everything I'm doing as I go along, but it will really help if you understand a little bit about how it works. So um, as you can see, I've got my tool panel and my bars up here with T and N. I've got uh, the full hierarchy here. And if you look, there are a lot of objects in this file. Uh, can get a little bit complicated, um, but we'll have a look at simplifying this. Um, down at the bottom, what I really want to bring your attention to is the layers that we have set up. And as you can probably see, I've got two layers at the moment that are active. This is because I am currently in display by material mode. So this lets our Uma look like a real boy. So as you can see, it's got all the normal maps, everything on. This is, uh, it's a nice way to actually work when we, particularly when we're doing texturing, which we're going to do in the next episode. So um, let's have a little look at what's on these different layers. Um, to do that, I'm going to uh, switch back into solid mode. And the reason I'm doing that is when you are in material mode in Blender, you must have a lights active in the scene to be able to see anything. Um, that's why I have two layers on. So let's quickly have a look. If we look at this first top corner layer here, you'll see this contains the actual blender rig. So these are all of the bones. Okay. So when we're manipulating bones, that's where you will find them on that layer. Uh, this layer contains the unified model. Can you see how I have no lights in here? So let's just quickly um, flick back to solid mode. There we go. So solid mode, we can see untextured version. So this has our uh, actual unified UMA model. That's this item here on our list, okay? This is every single mesh, so the arms, the hands, the legs, the feet, the eyes, the mouth, all mashed together as a single mesh. Very, very handy for modeling on. Um, so we're gonna use that one quite heavily. But what you can also see in the hierarchy here is we have all of the items separated and they are, I believe, let's have a look. There they are, they're on this layer here. So again, it's the same stuff. Um, we can see if I turn off the eyes, there we go, they disappear. Same with the face. So this is all the separated stuff, which can be useful if you want to make modified versions of these items. They're just on that top layer there. Uh, what you probably saw when I was clicking around, um, over here, we've got the special modified pig nose and elven ears 
and over on this side we've got the uh, swappable face parts that come with Uma. So these are all different things. Over here on this side, um, we probably won't use this an awful lot, but just so you know that that is there. What I'm mainly interested in, particularly at the start of this series, is the unified model here um, and the skeleton which we're going to be using. This final layer that has something on here purely contains the lights. Okay. So what I can do, if I click on this layer, try and put my materials on, they won't show because there are no lights, but if I hold shift and select this layer, it activates both layers and I get a nice textured view to work on. Okay. One other thing that might be helpful, um, at the moment the hierarchy, like I say, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, it might be helpful just to keep things simple. Instead of viewing all items from all scenes, just show visible layers and you can see there's the lights and just the unified male mesh so if we were to work with bones and I pressed shift and clicked on this layer you can see that adds that to the hierarchy and we can mess around with the bone structure as well as look at, at the other layers okay so again I'm going to shift click the bones just to turn that layer back off so really nice um, set up just nice for us to actually see what we're going to be doing. What else I've got in here, um, very quickly, if I have a look over in our properties panel, let's select our unified mesh and look at the materials. And because this is unified, just like the UMA is in um, Unity, it contains several materials. And we can see here, if I just drag this down, we have the face, inner mouth, eyes, torso. So all of these different materials um, so say for example if we look at the face and we check out the textures for that we have our diffuse, our normal and our metallic again if we go to something like the torso you will find the torso, normal, metallic and diffuse in there as well so um, what we're going to do, we're going to mess around with these layers we can draw on them, we can adjust them um, we can do all sorts but this is all set up just like it would be in Unity where you create an Uma. Okay, and very quickly just to head over to the female one, set up exactly the same, I put all the layers in the same place so you should be able to see, again I'm just going to switch into solid mode so I don't need my lights, um, you should be able to see skeleton here, unified mesh here, uh, again eyelashes are something that's a little bit different, you the uh, female model, uh, they're always separate but they're on this layer, so if I switch them off that might be a bit helpful when we actually get going and start painting onto our uh, Yuma. We have the lights over on this layer and again elven ears, separated head mesh and separated body parts. So again it's worth selecting the unified mesh, the lights and switching into material mode just so we can actually see our Yuma in all its glory. Okay, so this is the starting point. Um, in the next episode, we're going to have a look at modifying some of these textures um, and just seeing what effects we can get very, very quickly by making our own overlays. So, uh, download that, get that onto your computer, have a fiddle around with it, and I will see you in the next episode. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.